Bubba Chuck, everyone. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. <clears throat> Relationship and reflection. You know, most of us long for deep correctedness and deep relationships. And some of us fear change as a threat to our sense of security and stability. Our gardens can provide a place of deep connection and belonging where we can express our personal identities and form relationships with our space, our plants, ourselves. Change is something we actually look forward to in our garden. I mean, anything else would be uncivilized. Where's your right guard? Or your left? Today, I'm going to show you this little thing I chopped down for the squirrels. Something for them to, to have fun on, to play on. When I wake up in the morning, I look out my window and I see them... I see them playing. I see them eating. Let's check it out. Walk with me. Talk with me. The sun is going down. Not a lot of daylight left. But we're back. We are so back. Let me introduce you to something I call Squirrel Avenue. You can't quite see it anymore. Over time, it is weathered. I'll take you back a little bit so we can see it in its fullness. Perhaps I'll turn this camera around. Yeah, how about that? So I'll give you the story of this. You can see at the base this tree where I chopped it oh I was chopping away one cold day back in January of this year and that tree fell I was so sad only sad because I mean the tree is kind of old it took a long time for it to just burst out of the, of the ground the way it did standing tall, wanting to live, and I chopped it down. So I say, how can I make this useful again? So, this is what I made. And every morning, you know, you see not birds, but squirrels just running up and down this thing, eating acorns from all of these oak trees, having fun, running, running, and into the tree, and up and up, as I watch from my window, there's a lot of love out here. relationships and reflection. What does it mean to you? This is Bubba Shucks.